I'll see you soon. What, what does she mean by that? I don't know. I'll see her soon. So? 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 So what do you think? What do I think? Do you approve? Mm, I really like her. I, I knew you guys would get along. I think she's great. She's an amazing person. And smart and funny. Good funny. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I just, you know, I didn't introduce you guys earlier on, besides the obvious, because I didn't think you'd like her, so I'm really glad you like her, oh, honestly. I really like her. And she's so beautiful, too. I mean, you told me she was beautiful, but you didn't convey her level of beauty. She has a level of beauty? <laughs> like, if she weren't short, she could totally be a model. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, she could, she could be a model, a short model. Petite model. Whatever. I, I'm just so glad you're approved because, you know, I wouldn't want my girlfriend and my best friend to not get along, so... I didn't say I approved. What? Actually, I kind of don't. But you said you like her. I do. But? But that doesn't mean she's appropriate for you. She, she's not appropriate for me? It's just a first impression, Larry. That's all I'm saying. I just don't see it. But you're the one who has to date her. You're my, my oldest friend, my best friend. Be real with me. Like, what's wrong with her? I thought you guys got along so well. We did. But? But? I mean, you can like two people and they can like each other, but that doesn't mean that's uh, appropriate for each other. You know, you're completely wrong. We're completely wrong? She's too good for you. What? You don't deserve her. In what ways do I not deserve her? In three ways. Three? Let's not go into it. Okay, one is education. Now, normally a little education differential in a couple is good. Stimulating even. But with you guys, it's a serious gap. She's so much more educated than you are. She is? You dropped out of college. She has a JD, an MBA, and a master's in economics. She does? Wish she didn't tell you, right? She has three graduate degrees? I guess she's learned not to mention all of her degrees to the college dropout she dates. But how long have you been going out? Five months. Hmm. And maybe she'll have come out by now? You sure it's been that long? Yeah, five months. I... When did she tell you about her higher education? In the ladies' room. You always wonder what we talk about in the ladies' room. Higher education and fidelity, which brings me to problem number two. Which is what? I observed you holding hands. She touched her hand extremely simple, without guilt. So my intuition told me that she's faithful to you. So? So, problem number two is that she's faithful to you. And problem number three, which is really a subset of problem number two, is that I know she's faithful to you. How? I asked her in the ladies' room. You did not. I did. So what? I mean, she's not going to tell you she cheated on me. She knows you're my best friend and you're loyal to me. Doesn't matter. She can still tell me. It's the code of women. Code of women trumps male-female friendship. No. <laughs> code of women who just met 45 minutes ago does not trump a male-female bond of over two decades. You would think. But you have to remember, we were in the ladies' room with this marble walls and revelations. There, the code of women is celebrated like nowhere else. Extenuating circumstances can be quickly forgotten and female bonding heightened in the glow of that recessed track lighting. And tonight, there were marble walls. There was a wide sheer mirror, and a moment at which she would tell me, a complete stranger, very personal things. And in that moment, she said that she was faithful to you, and I knew she was telling the truth. I would give any of it to go to the ladies' room. So that's why. Valley, I, I don't understand any of your points. I mean, you say she has three more degrees than four. I do. Okay, four. But what does it matter? I mean, we both have good jobs. We both are educated. Who cares? It doesn't matter now, but it can cause problems later. You'll start to resent her when she gets jobs and promotions because of those degrees. And she'll start to resent you when it turns out that your earning power is just as high just because you're a guy. Okay, fine. Maybe you're onto something with your first point. But your other two, I mean, she's loyal to me in the sense she's faithful. What's wrong with that? Just that you don't deserve her. She's completely faithful to you and you're not. What? Larry, what's so difficult to understand? You've been a jerk. I think you've been a jerk. The girl's completely devoted to you, and you've cheated on her. But... But... But I cheated on her with you. I still think it was jerky. 
She's so faithful, and you're so two-timing. Yeah, with you. Just because it was me doesn't make it any better. Yeah, of course it does. It does. I mean, it's not like I went out of my way to find someone new. I mean, you were always there, and, you know, we've had some unresolved issues before I ever met Denise, and, I don't know, we said we've always been there for each other, and I've always been curious, and, um, this would be a nice side thing. I mean, I thought we had a well-executed, extremely planned out side thing. I thought we did too, until I met her and I don't know how utterly wonderful she is. I just think it was wrong. I'm tempted to tell her. No, 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 Violet, please don't. I probably shouldn't. But... Yeah, you probably shouldn't. And you probably should not be talking to her in the ladies' room either. I won't mention it to you. But if you ever come on to me again, I will tell her right away. So what are you gonna do? Call her? Her phone's unlisted. And that's the last time I am ever introducing you guys. We exchanged Christmas cards. You were only there for three minutes! We were efficient. <laughs> you're, you're beautiful when you're efficient, aren't you? We're having lunch on Tuesday. What? When she said see you soon, that's what she was referring to. You planned lunch without even telling me? Code of women. Code of women. Oh my, God, my stomach hurts. <laughs> Valerie. Take your hand off my knee. I'm sorry. I really liked her.